Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we'll look at problems involving multiple similarities. And by multiple, I mean more than a single pair of similar triangles. I notice that many students stop looking for similarity once they find a single pair of triangles. So it's good to practice looking for additional triangles, and we'll do that in this video. So let's look at our example problem. Square ABCD has side length 4, and M is the midpoint of segment CD. A circle with radius 2 and center M intersects a circle with radius 4 and center A at points P and D. What is the distance from point P to side length AD? Okay, so looking at this figure, we have a square of side length 4. We have two circle segments intersecting at point P, and that suggests some natural auxiliary lines. So let's draw in the radii to the point of intersection. So let's draw in our line segment MP and the other radii from A to P. And since these are radii, we know that uh, these two line segments are equal, and these two line segments are equal. So we have this interesting symmetric quadrilateral, which is basically two congruent triangles joined by line segment AM. So uh, let's draw in line segment AM to complete that. So now we can see these two congruent triangles more clearly, and they're both uh, right triangles. And uh, given the symmetry of this quadrilateral, we know that the two diagonals are perpendicular. So uh, let's draw in the other diagonal from D to P. And we know this diagonal is now perpendicular to the first diagonal. And while we're here, why don't we also draw in the line segment that we seek from P perpendicular to line segment AD. Let's call that point Q. And we know that uh, QP is parallel to DC, so we have two equal angles here. And it looks like we now have quite a few similar triangles to, uh, to work with, and let's see how we can do that. So it looks like we have triangle M, whatever this point is, D, similar to DQP, so that should come in handy. And since DP is perpendicular to the hypotenuse AM, uh, DP is essentially an altitude drawn to triangle MDA, and from that we know that this smaller triangle is similar to this larger triangle ADM. And all of these triangles are similar to kind of a base reference similar triangle, a 2, 1, root 5 right triangle. So now all these triangles are similar to this uh, reference triangle, and that should come in really handy. And in fact, we can actually generate one additional similar triangle by drawing in line segment PC. which is also a right angle to line segment DP. And now this triangle is also similar to our reference similar triangle. And from this now, we can pretty quickly calculate the length of QP. And we can do that in two steps, because we can go from this hypotenuse DC to the long leg DP by multiplying by the ratio as given by the similar triangle 2 over root 5. So starting with side length DC of 4, we can multiply by the ratio 2 over root 5 to get from DC to DP. Let's write that in. And now to go from DP to PQ, we also have an, a hypotenuse long leg relationship, and so we can just multiply again by the ratio of 2 over root 5 
to arrive at length QP. So working out this math, we have 4 times 4 over 5, and that's 16 over 5, and that's uh, choice B. So a fairly simple problem if you can spot the multiple similar triangles. Now if you can't spot them, then you still have some other solution options. Uh, we can actually solve this problem using coordinate geometry. And I'll put a video link to that in the description once I do that. And we can also uh, solve this using an area two ways calculation. And I'll try to show that as well. And it turns out this problem is also very conducive to guessing. So uh, let's explore that a little further. So one thing I noticed is that this, the figure scale seems to be pretty reliable. I don't see any distorted angles or distorted uh, uh, line segments. And so we can use this figure to basically estimate the length of QP. So since DC is of length 4, we can make a little mark here to indicate a length of 3. So it appears that QP is just a little bit larger than 3. So it appears that A choice A is a bit too small. Choice E is 7 over 2, that's 3.5. That appears a little bit too big. 2 radical 3, let's draw that out. 2 times 1.73, 4. That's basically 3.5 again, and that again is too big. Now 16 over 5 and 13 over 4 are very close numerically, so I don't think we can use a figure to distinguish these two. But since we've eliminated down to two choices, uh, in the AMC, once you can do that, and if that's the best you can do, and it's definitely worth guessing. So at this point, you would guess between choice B and choice C if you can't solve this problem any further. So with that, go ahead and check out the description section for additional practice problems involving multiple similarity, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.